beta testing on a two-page roleplay grindhouse genre gore fest two thumbs down and uh, let's see what we can have with this now it's a player sheet it's uh, similar to all of the two-page role plays uh, in this case it's a, like in the magic zen uh, fantasy there's a bounce back instead of combat uh, non sequiturs and do something anything which is a common denominator for these uh, your character classes are jock dits virgin and authority figure uh, when you name your character, actually nobody cares what your name is. You're you're playing a role in the fi in a film, and few even in the theater audience are going to remember who you are. You're uh, you're suffering for art and for the opportunity for fame. Now all characters begin the adventure destined. We'll see if that uh, if that role will change. Uh, for Gorefest, you may not want to have them have um, um, some extra advantage at the start. You may just want to go right into the nitty gritty of the killing, but you know you don't want to have a game last uh, five minutes and then be done and then the referee sheet will describe what's going on one of the changes that uh, this genre brings out is the fact that at each scene each of the players would roll depending upon whether or not they're jock a ditz a virgin or authority figure and see how many obstacles they have to face within the script of the scene now as i said here is this real is it a movie or is it a movie that turns real well, all I know is that this is a, uh, and I will not be doing any sort of, a, um, all I'm doing is testing mechanics here. I will do one later where I actually try to embellish the scenes and hopefully I'm, I won't make anyone hurl. I'm, you know, I, I don't mind uh, Splatterhouse, uh, Grindhouse uh, cinema. I, uh, I understand what it is. It's uh, people, uh, you know, uh, titillating and people um, uh, doing sensation in order to uh, get a product out and get noticed. And... Uh, but here, I'm just going to test the physical mechanics of seeing if I can get even, you know, through one or two reels before I have to modify. And let's see what we got here. We got our, our, our horror character. Um, it, this is not a character that you're going to ever try to defeat uh, in, in the, uh, at least not before the final reel. And there are eight reels that we got to get through, and we're going to count them down, eight, seven, six, five, four, if we get that far. I'm going to have one authority figure, uh, one uh, one virgin, and one jock to start. And let's start by just rolling the dice on the ref sheet here. I'm going to roll a d6 for the uh, the jock and a d6 for the dits. And the jock is going to get a 1d6. The jock is going to get a 6. And the virgin is going to get a 1. And the authority figure is going to get a 2. And I go back to my uh, ref sheet here. And the jock getting a 6 means it, it, they need to pass two critical troubles. Now, everyone, everyone could uh, help this and try to uh, get the two critical troubles if they have eliminated their own problems. And we're going to go over to uh, the, the 1 for my virgin. And my one for my virgin is, uh, it will dialogue with an NPC, resolve, then roll again. And I just made some markers here, you know. We're in a dialogue with an NPC. I'm going to cover her pretty face. And uh, then, uh, but it's not. There's there's more to do. So I'm going to put a more to do right here. And my authority figure, I rolled a two. So I'm going back over to there. A two. A dialogue with an NPC, then pass an obstacle. Well, that's at least better. So there isn't more to do here. It is just a dialogue with an NPC and then pass an obstacle. Now this would be real eight. So this would be the start of the horror film. And again, I'm not going to embellish into it as I would think people that play this in a role play fashion, they'll want to, they'll want to be this character. They'll want to be this, uh, this virgin or this authority figure put into this script. And the referee will want to have an idea of what sort of a uh, movie it is. Uh, to me, with these three ladies involved, uh, it's probably a haunted house type spectacle. So we got two critical troubles, a dialogue, and then more to do, and a dialogue and an obstacle. So let's just start with the jock, and I'll go back to the player sheet here. Now, what does a jock do best? A jock does best is bounce back and plus one, uh, plus one of the dice rolls. Let me put some dice rolls here. So they probably are nice and uh, uh, so we need to uh, we need to defeat a critical trouble so by by rolling to defeat a critical trouble can I get a critical trouble I can if I get a six I defeat a critical trouble actually a five I will as well I just lose my destined status and you'll know in the gore fest game you'll note there are two chances to lose that at the table so you're rapidly gonna lose that destined but let's see if I can keep it at least for a round and I'm going to bounce back against one of these critical problems. And this is where the referee would describe the situation, what that problem is, and the player then would describe how we get over it. As an example, 
the referee might say that you uh, you're you're in a room and discover that when you wake up in the morning it's locked it's locked it's more than locked there's no door on the room anymore you were put in a room in the in you, know, you went to sleep last night and there certainly was a door last night this sounds more like a, a real three problem but we're going to put it right at the start as an example. So then my jock would wake up, and what do they do? They would smash the door down with the uh, fire axe or the uh, baseball bat they find, the commemorative baseball bat, the same one that Babe Ruth hit his uh, record-breaking home run, just happened to be over the mantle of the fireplace. Wouldn't you also maybe look for a secret door in the fireplace, or would you uh, know that the, uh, the room had uh, spun in some way to block the door or transformed? Who knows? Again, you would play out the scenario back and forth between the referee and the players describing scenes and then the players would describe their actions here i mostly just want to see if it's even possible to get out of a reel so let me roll two dice for uh, my jock and i rolled a 42 and that's going to become a 53 now a 53 is uh, is going to be <laughs> that's about the worst roll you could see might as well be out of frame and eliminate one of my critical troubles here and I move over to the Virgin. And the Virgin would have dialogue um, that, you know, I would introduce another character. Maybe it's the housemaid. Maybe it's the librarian. Maybe it's on the on the cell phone if it's in a cell phone age. Uh, maybe it's on a uh, maybe it's a carrier pigeon if it's in the Victorian age. And after I had that dialogue and finished that dialogue, I would have more to do. So I would roll another D6 for my Virgin and get a four. And on the ref sheet, a version of four is gonna be a Virgin with a four is gonna be a past critical trouble and an obstacle. So now she has talked to the uh, to, to the figure, the NPC, and has realized that she has a, an obstacle and uh, critical trouble. So let me double check, make sure I read that right. It's gonna be that four, it's gonna be past critical trouble and an obstacle. So we added uh, two more things for her to mitigate. If you, there you go and critical trouble and optional npc and so we go on to the uh uh the final we got an, we got an npc dialogue here and after we get through that npc dialogue we roll for that obstacle let's go ahead and see this is an authority figure now the authority figure here can do any action but they only roll a single d6 but she is destined so i get a plus one to that so let me see i want to try to eliminate a critical critical that i say critical trouble no an obstacle now an obstacle can can it be eliminated by uh, bounce back it cannot can it be eliminated by yes from non sequiturs i see i can eliminate it but non sequiturs i'm rolling d6 plus one or can it be eliminated an obstacle yes it can be eliminated here so i'm going to roll on non sequiturs so I, as the authority figure, will will uh, say something about the uh, uh, burial ground of the, uh, the that the castle was built on, or the, the Scottish uh, Highland uh, people that were executed outside. Again, I would uh, uh, you know tell the story of the of the script or the movie or what's what's causing uh, you know very very uh, uh, immersive um, you know a method here. I should never get out of character. And uh, here comes my die roll. Um, two die, uh, one die for the authority figure, and that one die, and I'm adding one to it. It's a five. A five is a rant. Uh, it happens again. A treat as a result six. Lose my uh, my plus one status. Boy, that just is. And you're stuck in a rant trying to get get rid of your obstacle here. See what I've got a rant here that I got a that I'm going to have to have trouble with. That rant again is that if it happens again, I treat it at six, which is a good thing, but I lost my destiny status. From there, I would go all the way back to my jock. Now, my jock is critical trouble again, and the best thing the jock does is uh, bouncing back from injury. So the jock might be saying something like, "Well, I got the one door open, but I noticed that the it's the." Um, secret fireplace the uh, the candlestick started attacking me so I'm, i need to beat those candlesticks back and here comes my die roll for beating the candlestick back two dice because i'm a jock on the bounce back table a six and a one now i don't have my destin anymore but you know six and one i don't want to be de decapitated and then die even though that's very cool i would just lead on and i would fix one i would fix one critical trouble the jock has eliminated and ended the problems related to the jock but will they go and help the other characters because another way to play this would be as player characters and you know group of eight at a party you would play this uh, going around the coffee table as you're drinking um, if if you're the last one standing you win okay so as splatterhouse 
and grindhouse movies often are. It's a uh, every man to the every man to their own funeral. If we go over to the critical trouble and obstacle of the Virgin. Now, the Virgin uh, is a, is a specialist on the do something anything. Uh, maybe it's uh, um, the cabin in the woods uh, philosophy that the Virgin uh, would know that they're probably going to survive this. You never know, though. And let's see. I'm going to roll, do something, anything, and see what I can get through. And again, I'm keeping the uh, the narration to a minimum here. Would be where you add your own uh, your own explanation. You would describe uh, what what you do and your action to the satisfaction of yourself, the other players, and anyone else who's just uh, watching in the audience online or the other people at the party. Here comes my two dice, a five and a two. Now, she is still destined. I brought a five and a two becomes a six, and I can perform a critical deed or pass a critical trouble, an obstacle, or help somebody helpless. I'm going to eliminate the obstacle here, and I go over to my authority figure um, who's ranting still, trying to eliminate an obstacle. Now, I'm rolling non sequiturs uh, from my authority figure, trying to, uh, if I get that second five rant, I might as well move it to a six but let's see what i can do one die six for the authority figure five rant and rant happens again treat is six the six will eliminate a critical trouble and i'm starting to like this oh uh does it eliminate an obstacle it certainly does eliminate an obstacle so let's go over to my splinter uh, my uh, splatter franchise and uh eliminate the rant i'll just put that this over in case i need it um well i should keep that in here because there's still critical trouble to eliminate now, if I go back over to my jock, if my jock does a bounce back here, and uh, can they? No, my jock has to eliminate this critical trouble. If it was a helpless state, if the person was uh, stuck in a helpless state, if this gal was in helpless state, or this person was in helpless state, or the jock was in helpless state, if they don't, um, now of course, a helpless state means the jock cannot roll, or the helpless state here means the authority figure couldn't roll. If the jock were to just boldly go forward and progress this from uh, from real eight down to real seven left, uh, and then the person left behind the helpless state, they're gone. So maybe the jock will help with critical trouble. Do what a jock does best. I see old uh, OSR leaking back in here. You know, uh, you have a referee describe all the monsters reading from the monster manual, and then you ask the players, what do you do? Well, we kill it. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. And I'm rolling two dice here, but I'm not adding because I don't have uh, I don't have Destined anymore. Two dice, four and one, a four, a real dot change. Treat next roll on any table as a six. If there's no conditions, change the real, but there is a condition. But I did get this real change dot. And if you don't know what a real change dot is, well, you know, Google. Open. And we know now the real change dot, you're gonna you're gonna treat to fours and sixes. And I go back. I should also have a little icon. Who is this? It's a favorite of mine. Boop! And we go over to the neck, it actually looks like a real change dot. And I go over to the Virgin. The Virgin can eliminate her own uh, 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 critical trouble. Let's see if the, uh, the, uh, we can eliminate her own uh, critical trouble as a Virgin. I'm clicking tabs trying to get over to the one rather than reading. And uh, do something, anything. And uh, still, still, with Destined. Two dice, plus one. Five is uh, close up panic. Happens again in real here. Result three is a five is a three. And that critical trouble still exists. And we come over to the authority figure. Authority figure is still ranting. Can the authority figure uh, use non sequiturs to get the insight to eliminate that, uh, that trouble, that critical trouble? Yes. And also the rant happens again here. Treat as result six. So let's go ahead and roll that. One die six for the authority figure. A two. A two. A freak. Happens again in the real and die bloody. Recover after the real change. So if the authority figure is... Uh, decides that they want to uh, that they want to use uh, uh, non sequiturs again to get through this scene it could get um, it could get pretty ugly for them because we have um, the fact that they are freaking out and ranting back to uh, 
Shelly, and Shelly has got uh, a red dot four to six, and a jock, and she's going to try to eliminate that critical trouble. You don't have to eliminate this panic, and certainly the red dot four is going to disappear real change. You don't have to elim eliminate the rant or the freak. This is the one that's going to cause you grief, and you can't move on. That is a uh, that is a uh, condition that needs to be eliminated, and those conditions that need to be eliminated are the ones that are generated by those initial rolls on um, conditions for jock, conditions for virgin. Hey, I'm bouncing back. Here comes my two dice. A five and a two. A five and a two, you can't lose something I don't already have, so lose the destiny. I need to lose the destiny, but I eliminated a critical trouble with um, with my jock. So the critical trouble is going away. That's a that's a positive thing. And it comes over to here, and now we need a real change. And the virgin. The virgin would look at the results and go, the virgin rolling here is one die six, and it can get a real change on a four and they can get a real change on a six. There's no real change on five, and these are the only two places to get real change. So let's roll, bounce back, one die, add one, because uh, she's still destined. A five, five one is a six, so we got the real change. And we would go to, um, again, these are just, for me to keep track of it all, if I had a group of players, I could probably, uh... Now I just need to survive seven reels. I have lost my destined status on my jock, my destined status on my, on my uh, authority figure. We are not freaking and ranting and panicked. Those all wrong cover after this, the, uh, this, the, uh, and the real dot is already now expired. I would go into the second uh, reel, uh, reel seven, counting down to, to one, the final reel. And I would roll on my referee referee sheet for my my jock. My jock is going to get a three, and so they're going to overcome two obstacles. And my um, uh, virgin is going to roll a six, and they're going to perform two critical deeds. And then in my uh, authority figure, uh, two is going to be a change roll to virgin. So let's see, we had a. Uh, we had uh, going back to this, and I'm see if I remember them. It's going to be uh, overcome two obstacles, overcome two critical deeds, and uh, change the virgin and reroll there. So our authority figure is now gone. She must have confessed in a scene that she's in a virgin. You got a jock in a in a uh, in a haunted house with two virgins. Oh, oh that is so grindhouse. And uh, we're going to have uh, uh, two uh, critical deeds that need to be accomplished. And again, it was generated by the Virgin's actions in the script, in the movie, in our Splatterhouse story. But she doesn't necessarily have to complete them both. But the Virgin is the best person to try to eliminate the, those uh, critical deeds. And the, uh, the uh, jock, the jock had to overcome two obstacles. So I would put two obstacles in there. And um, and then I would re-roll for the virgin of the our new our newest virgin to our play a four a virgin of a four is past critical trouble and an obstacle I would go back to this and know that you need to get an obstacle and you need to get a uh, critical trouble and this would be real seven real seven the uh, the showrunner or the story writer or just your your players are going to have to uh, create. Um, with the referee, a couple of obstacles that the jock, jock will need to uh, eliminate, or the jock can try to eliminate the critical deeds or the critical troubles of the other virgins, and vice versa. And you would play this out scene by scene by scene until you get to um, the final reel of the film, in which case all hell breaks loose. It all depends. By then, you probably have lost one character or one more. Uh, more later.